what's your age? 26 on the, uh, February 22nd. So I'm 25 right now. Are you single? I am single. Why do you think that is? Um, because I want to be. <laughs> I have a couple of boyfriends. I hope they're not watching. Wait, 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 wait. This chick came on here so f innocent and had the audacity to say she had a couple of boyfriends? Oh, God. Maybe like four or five. So I guess I'm single. I am single. But you know, what's it like dating five people at the same time? It's just like juggling. You have to be talented. Are you sleeping with all five of them? Not all of them. Depends on the situation. Why not all? What's the deciding factor? Well, there's different guys for different situations. Some guys, I just want to go to... <laughs> I forgot that I'm recording this. <laughs> Some guys, you just want to what? <laughs> there's different purposes for different tools. One's a shovel, one's a knife, one's a fork. Yeah, honestly, the one that I'm f***ing... Never gonna get in a relationship with him. He doesn't have the job, finances, none of that. So why even open yourself up to a guy like that? Great day. What's your age? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean... That was kind of self-explanatory. Why would she be sleeping with a guy that has no job, no plans for the future? Because he's taking her down to Stroke City. That's crazy. She came on so innocent and just have demonic intentions. I'm pretty sure at least one of those young men is head over heels for her. No way, bro. Are you sick? They so used to doing nasty shit that he ain't even realized he just coughed over these people food. India is one of those places I would love to visit, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not getting no street food from India. I'm not getting no food from the side of the road in India. I know their seasonings might be imp impeccable because I'm from the West Indies and some of those Indian seasoning have traveled over there to the Caribbean, you know? But, and it's a strong but, pause. I'm not eating that shit. Imagine being trans and trying to go get your medication. I literally walk up there, the lady, the lady on the phone is like, oh, can I have your last name? And so I give it to her. She's like, oh, okay, I'll meet you out there and I'll give you your prescription, right? So I'm waiting and she comes out and then she says, oh, is this her? And then she says my dead name. And I'm like, my name is Rylan. And she just looks at me. And then she puts the medication on the table and shuts the door and locks it behind her. <laughs> Every day, there's just a fucking break from being dehumanized on the internet, in person, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fucking everywhere. Imagine being trans. I'm confused. I'm confused, bro. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm the only one that's confused about this whole thing. However you feel about yourself, that's you. I don't have no hatred for you. None of that. I just feel as though certain things shouldn't be forced upon us. I'm gonna give you an example. Integrating sports. Trans women being allowed to partake in women's sports. I don't think that's fair. Let's Take an NBA player, former NBA player. Let's say uh, somebody else that wasn't considered all that good. Kwame Brown. If Kwame Brown decided halfway through his NBA career that he wanted to be a woman and put a wig on, should he be allowed to join the WNBA? Y'all get where I'm going with that? I don't think that's fair. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Out of all of the crazy stories that I've heard growing up in Dominican Voodoo, growing up around magic, witchcraft, sorcery, you know, 
I've seen many crazy things, heard many crazy things. Death spells, selling souls, curses, just crazy stuff. Mythical creatures. But the craziest thing that still makes me question till this day is a story that I actually heard from my godmother, my father, and my uncle. So my godmother was doing spiritual work for my uncle. My uncle was a big time drug dealer. One day, the police, they come to raid my uncle's home. I think it was his trap, like his trap house, where he kept his drugs or something like that. But they found the drugs in the house, and as they're raiding his home, he's hiding in the bathroom. He calls my godmother, asks what to do. She says to pee on yourself, wipe it all over your body, then walk in front of the police and leave the building. He does exactly that. Untouched. Till this day, I question, if I pee on myself, will I be invisible? It's not funny, but it's funny at the same time. Voodoo is real. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Voodoo is real. I know some of y'all think I'm out here calling spirits and stuff like that when I be burning my Palo Santo, but let me tell y'all something, bro. Voodoo is real. I'm going to give y'all a story that's a little similar to this, but it happened with my family. My great-grandmother was diabetic, and because she was diabetic, she had one of her legs cut off. And to replace the leg that was cut off, they put a stump. So when she walked through the house, you would hear the, the stump and then, you know, her walking. When she died, we had... um. A lot of people come to the house. Now, this is before I was born, anything like that. So I've heard the story numerous times, and it was, it was told the same exact way, even from the neighbors that was at the house. So anyway, when she died, a lot of people in the community came to pay their respects. People was on the porch drinking. The ladies were in the kitchen, and I think some more people was in the living room. I believe it was either 11 at night, 12 at night. I'm not sure the exact time, but everybody could hear her walking through the house. They heard the stump. Dragging at the feet. Stump, dragging at the feet. I've heard the same story from numerous people the same exact way. So, yeah, bro. Don't play with spirits. Don't play with voodoo. Karma definitely comes back to haunt you. This goes in line with rappers that be dissing the dead. Don't diss the dead. Whatever you do, do not diss the dead. Because all you're doing is you, you're keeping these people from crossing over. You constantly talking about them and insulting them is keeping them here. And they sole mission, once they're here, is to take you with them. She's kidnapped. She's forced into the back of a U-Haul truck, driven around for three hours before being shot and dumped in an alleyway and left to die. That's not a plot for a movie. That's what happened to Monique Bao on New Year's Eve, 2019. In 2019, Monique was a mother of two and a realtor in Minneapolis, Minnesota. On the day Monique was murdered, she was lured to a home that she was showing by a woman who was using a fake name. Minutes after Monique arrived at the house, she was kidnapped and forced into the back of a U-Haul truck. Three hours later, Monique was discovered, shot three times, and barely clinging to life. Monique was rushed to the hospital, but she died shortly after arriving. From the start, media and police thought that Monique was collateral damage in a drug dispute involving her boyfriend. It's a strange world we live in. You just got to be careful. It's a stand. Stay dangerous. Stay dangerous. That's why I always got my strap on me. But even if you got your strap on you, stuff could happen. One thing I'm going to say, this is why social media is dangerous. I tell my wife this a lot, and I have to tell myself this and keep reminding myself this all the time. Things you post online, you're posting to complete strangers. So you might be walking the street, going through your day like regular, and pass by somebody who know you, that have a problem with you, and have ill intentions for you, and you don't know it. That motherfucker looked like it melt off the bone. That's what you call a wagon. That is what you call a wagon. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Where'd you get that? All that beauty, bro. Get out my face. What you mean get out your face? I was just trying to compliment you. That's it. Thank you. How tall are you? How tall do you think I am? Let's do a guessing game. He's like 
right now, I get it. Six yeah. two, right? No, I'm six six. What the fuck? Bro, yes. my, my bad. Six, she tried me on six Actually, two. No, I had no, you. No, you're right. You were probably on six two. You don't believe it. My ID said six five. But with the shoes. Let me see your ID. I got you. Yeah, with your shoes, that shit adds like. Like a cool inch. Nay. Yeah, but you're not. Yeah, well, my, my, yeah, no, sister said no, and then she no, said, wait. Yeah, my, no, my, my sister's, yeah. Okay, I don't really believe in the signs like that. Yeah, yeah, that's like not too far from here. Where you live? That's not too far. There's nothing but a drive for me to take you out. Tight, you know what I'm saying? Are you going to take me out where? That's I, I don't eat. I, I be drinking. You be drinking? I'm a drinker. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. If the first thing she says, I don't eat, I'm a drinker, red flag. Off rip. It's something else I noticed, but I'm going to say it at the end of the video. Okay, so we can go to more of like a lounge type shit, where the food is more of just like the plus side, the drinks is more of the main dish, you know what I'm saying? You want to have a double date? <laughs> we can do that. Do you have a cute guy friend? Yeah. What are you? Puerto Rican? <laughs> yeah, I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. That's like the most... You don't even have an accent, though. Yeah. I was born and raised. Me too. Um, you do a hot ass as well? I look Me too. American, okay, we in the same boat. One hundred percent sure. I mean, I put me in the back. Yeah. Look at the friend. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Where'd you get the that? Friend, look. The friend was looking at him before he even spoke. The friend was more excited to talk to him than the girl he was initially going for. Personally, the friend wasn't ugly neither. You know what I'm saying? I. They was both neck and neck. What y'all think? Did he fumble the bag? I would have personally went for the friend. I ain't going to lie to you. That's that's my cup of tea. But maybe, you know, the other one was his cup of tea. But I would have personally went for the friend. Situational awareness. You throw a grenade in the room, see who run for cover. Jesus Christ. <laughs> at least y'all can't get mad at me I let this whole video play through okay I hope you enjoyed it it wasn't that bad it was just a young lady dancing um yeah she got a wagon <laughs>